Hello Achievers, welcome you all to Strategy Sangamam in the segment of Success Journey Business Info English. How are you all? We are fine. Uh, so, in the last segment, that is in the Success Journey, yeah, we have discussed about uh, the SWOT analysis in uh, individual point of view. That is so, how the individual SWOT analysis is playing a very predominant role for the success and development of an individual. So, in that, we have discussed with one example of a marketing executive. If you have not yet seen that, you just see a glance of that individual SWOT analysis, then definitely you will get the idea of it. So, uh, that individual SWOT analysis helps for an individual for his or her development in the career point of view. Either he is a new person to go for a job or he or she is already in a job. So, that is for that individual SWOT analysis. And in our today's video, we are going to see about the SWOT analysis for the existing business. It means a business that can be of any nature or it may be big, a medium one or a small one. So it doesn't matter that the size of the business as well as the nature of business. But the thing is, if you are running your business and you want to come up with some developments by uplifting some of the uh, things which you want to improve in your business this SWOT analysis is very important one so let's see a quick glimpse about the SWOT analysis and what are all the things we need to consider in the business SWOT analysis that is the SWOT analysis for the existing business let's see Let's have a very quick recap of what is SWOT. Yes, strength, W, weakness, O, opportunities and T, threats. Here, I want to mention one important thing. Uh, in the recent period, and uh, it was a uh, thing which is mentioned in an article in the period of uh, 2013, that this threat is a term that has been replaced with the word called C, challenges. So instead of T, it has been replaced with C. So C stands for challenges. So why they have brought this term means just to have a positivity. So instead of using that term uh, threats uh, that shows a negative resemblances, C is a term called the challenges. So if you are telling and if you are implementing that in a positive way, definitely the output will also get in a very positive manner. So that's why they have insisted this changes from T to C. So 
uh, today we have one um, quick chat with the example of a catering business take an example you are running a catering business that may be small or whatever it is but you want to develop your business in some uh, another level that is to the next level so uh, being in this business you can list what are all the strength weakness opportunities and threats existing in your business here i have mentioned some of the common examples uh, for each and everything and that may vary from one field to another field as well as one nature of business to another nature of business at the same time again i am mentioning just like the individual swot analysis the count doesn't matter it doesn't mean that you have to mention only this much strength this much weakness only this number of uh, opportunities and threats so that can be depends upon your business but the thing is you have to bring it in a very assertive manner so here according to the example of a catering business we have listed some of the strength weakness opportunities and threats so let's so here in the strength i have mentioned i have a good staffs or workers a uh, good and unique recipes as a catering business we will be very conscious in the recipes and uh, i can prepare a bulk quantity and i can deliver it in a time as well the taste is very good i have a very regular customers and competitive prices that is the price is very good compared to other people then i can give personal attention to each and every customer i have a good relationship with every customer and we are getting a very good feedback from them and the environment is very clean as well as the uh, location is very good likewise you have listed some of the strength of your catering business and there is the hotel business or whatever the restaurant and whatever in the name we are telling so simple for understanding purpose we have taken this uh, seg- sector of business and in the weakness point of view these are all some of the things i have mentioned like problem in investment um other resources like water scarcity then technical issues and i don't have a people to equip that uh, technologies in a proper way and power cuts transportation facilities likewise mentioned some of the uh, weaknesses that is what are all the weaknesses from the business point of view from your businesses and the next is the positive side that is the opportunities what are all the opportunities i am having in my business that is what is the scope or what is the future scope of my business and some of the points is listed is new order and growing demands so many people are coming newly so i can extend my orders and my customers is also will be getting increased i have a chance to open a new branch and chance of financial support if i want to expand a business definitely i need some financial support so that chances is also i am having in hand and implementing changes if there is any chances for implementation i will do for the development of my business so and uh, we have listed all the opportunities that is the uh, positives which we are gaining or getting from the outside sources all this thing will be coming under the opportunity section and the last one is the threats that is the challenges what are all the external forces or external uh, some kind of negatives uh, which is uh, disturbing the business to its growth so these are all the things some of the examples like competitors nearby we have so many competitors near to my business so i feel very difficult to expand it or i have uh, some difficulties for uh, having those competitions mm, and uh, lagging in raw materials availability uh, the raw materials will not be available in a time or maybe in a very good price the problem in pricing and the natural calamities um, all the uh, natural uh, issues like uh, so many thing what we are facing everything will be the natural calamities so that is also one of the threats in my business and cost of training if i want to train my uh, staffs i have to incur so many uh, so much of cost so that is also a yeah, um, threats and uh, changes in regulation in case the um, is there any new regulations which is implemented by the concerned authorities i have to implement them which will uh, create a problem for my existing thing or i feel difficult in that changes or increase in price of the input and maybe like uh, existence of bigger uh, companies or some corporates and absenteeism unexpectedly if my staff gets are taking leave uh, that is also a problem because this is a service sector being in that service sector we should be ready in all the aspect than the production industry so all this thing will comes as a threat for my businesses so likewise just take an enough time 
just to take a yeah, sufficient time space uh, to work out to list all your strength weakness and opportunities and threats that is the challenges for the businesses just go through it again and again uh, just check whether you have overrated something or you have lifted something just go through it thoroughly and try to compare all your strength and opportunities as well as the weakness and the threats with your um, a business point of view like in what all the aspect i have to develop take an example if you are uh, focusing on the strength so these are all my strength and in what way i can extend my strength more that is if you have it in a hundred percentage you have to think to develop your business in a 200 percentage level so in what um, uh, uh, aspect i can develop this thing likewise these are all the opportunities i'm having so in which way i can use this effectively and the weaknesses i have these many weaknesses how i can come out from those thing to erase, erase those negatives and what are the threats i am having how i can come across it we can take one simple and quick example like um, new orders and growing demands the customers is getting increased and i can uh, uh, get a new order so these are all the opportunities but if you are coming to the weakness point of view we have a problem like power cut transportation facility less advertisement all this thing so what we have to do if we want to expand my business i need to concentrate more on giving advertisements and have to find the alternative sources for the transport facility and for the power cut we can use genset or whatever the recent technologies we are using and um, the problem in um, um, like resources uh, water or whatever so we have to concentrate by comparing all this thing so likewise if we have the threats if we have the negatives how we can erase those things so be clear with all the strength weakness and opportunities and threats that is the challenges of the business go through it compare it with each and everything that's why it is called as the matrix so we have to compare with the strength and the opportunities the weakness and the threats in crosswise everything we have to compare in all the angles then you have to take a decision to come out with uh, the good result for the better development of your businesses so this is what in short about the uh, SWOT analysis for the existing businesses so you can implement this thing by trying out by spending enough time for your business and this thing will be differ from one nature of business to another nature so put more effort because this is the very important uh, planning uh, strategic planning aspect that will helping you to take an effective decision so if you have any queries or clarification please let us know we will uh, come with the very good result and output to satisfy all your needs and uh, queries related to uh, the managerial related concept as well as the SWOT as well that what we have discussed today and that's all about the SWOT for existing business and if you have any other thing if you want to know about the business point of view please let us know and the same segment this business info english is having all the information which is relevant to business so definitely we have we will be helping you by satisfying all your needs to help to grow up your businesses and uh, we are going to see very useful videos in each and every uh, sessions of our upcoming releases see you all soon in the next video of our another segment so uh, mention all the thing which is required from your point of view hope you all got a very good and a clear idea about the SWOT analysis for the business so try it in your business and please let us know in the comment box if you're not yet subscribed subscribe our channel strategy sangamam uh, hit the bell icon for the future notification like and share it with your friends and see you all soon in the good video in the upcoming days Shatter your break bends and relish your success journey. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Have a good day.